So hallelujah. We give God glory. We magnify him. I didn't come on here to worship, but God, we worship you. Lord, we lift your name. Hallelujah, Lord. We lift your name. Hallelujah. If the Lord has been good to you, just begin to magnify him today. Say, God, we lift your name. We lift your name on high, Jesus. Hallelujah. The Lord is good. He is amazing. And so I just wanted to come and to encourage some people today because the Lord needs you to step out on faith. You see, when the Lord tells us to do things, he doesn't care what's in your bank account. He doesn't care what your credit score looks like. He doesn't care about any of those things. He just wants to know, will you obey me? When we look in the Hebrew, the Greek, the uh, Hebrew word Shema means to obey. It means to hear and to listen. Amen. But also to obey. And so when you hear the Lord, it's not you just listening to the Lord. It's you doing what he says. And that's why the Lord says that you must not only be hearers of the word, but you also must be doers. Because truth is, when you hear, you listen. And when you listen, you should obey. Amen. And so there are some of you, the Lord has called you to step out in faith. And I'm telling you today, hallelujah, Lord. Hand out that is going to meet you at the point of your need. Hallelujah, Lord. He's going to meet you. He sent an angel ahead of you. You just have to be in the room. Hallelujah. You just have to be in the room. Because the beautiful thing is, is that your faith is your down payment. Amen. Your faith is your down payment. God does not expect you to produce a miracle. He does not expect you to perform the impossible, but he does expect you to believe that he can. He does expect you to believe that he is Yahweh in your situation, and your circumstance. And I'm not saying this coming from a place that, oh, I've never gone through anything and nothing like that. No, for people who know, they know that the Lord has called me to do many other things in faith and he would always meet me at, my, at the point of my need. So I'm speaking to you today from the perspective of an experience of multiple encounters that I have had with Jehovah Jireh, that I have had with the one that gives you favor with people, that when you walk in, there's something about the glory of God that's upon your life that draws people to you, that makes them give you free things, that makes them just wanna do things for you that they don't do for others, that make you wanna say like, hey, you know, I got a friend that, you know, he wants to get rid of his car. And I don't know why, but I just feel like you're the person that they should give it to. So let me reach out to them. Or, hey, you know, normally there's this down payment that you have to do. Normally there's this. What I'm trying to say is, is that when the Lord tells you to do something, when the Lord gives you a yes, you run into, you run into that thing. You run into that thing, no matter what man says, because the Lord has given you his yes. And so today, I want people to partner with me. And I want you to say, Lord, you know, you told me to go view that house. And you told me to go to that dealership. You told me to go here. And God, though I feel plumb 
crazy. Because I look at my bank account, there's nothing there. Because I look at my credit report and God, who wants to give me anything? But then I remember, God, that you are sovereign and that you reign. And I remember what Daniel said about you. And it's that you throne and dethrone kings and that you change and you discern the times and uh, you decide, I mean, the times and the seasons. And so, Father, if that is the case, then I'm going to trust you today. And so I want some of you to partner with me in faith. Go do that thing the Lord is telling you to do. If you have the opportunity to do it, do it today. Just say, you know what, Lord? I've been sitting here idle, not believing, but not believing. But let me tell you, faith is your down payment. When the Lord sees your faith, trust and believe. There will be a way made out of no way. Amen. And so may you go and may you go forward and do what it is that the Lord is calling you to do. I love you all. I'll talk to you later.